Hey guys, a Loop Pop here, and today I'm bringing to you a review of Terrier by Tamora Pierce. When I first picked this book up from the library, I didn't really want to read it at first because looking at the title and then reading the back of the book, I thought it was about an actual dog, even though the cover right there clearly shows a young woman and pigeons. In 246 HE, the provost dogs guard Tortles capital city. Becca Cooper is one of their newest trainees, a puppy wet behind the ears but eager to learn. But Becca will have to learn faster than she bargained for because she's assigned to the lower city, Corus's toughest district. It's filled with pickpockets who are fast as lightning, rogues who will knock your teeth out with a smile, and murderers with hidden plans. In the constant battle for the lower city streets, Becca will have to use her smarts and her own eerie brand of magic if she hopes to survive. Reading that, I just couldn't wrap my head around who or what Becca actually was. Terrier follows the story of Rebecca Cooper as she starts her training year as a provost dog, which are basically the police of this world. As she is still in training, she is known as a puppy, and there are other dog-related jokes throughout the book, such as mother dog, adult dog, puppy, and she's known at one point fish puppy, and of course the book is known as terrier, while those on the other side of the law are referred to as rats. Rebecca herself is seen as a shy young woman of about 16, but when it comes to doing her job, she can be just as strong and quick as the best of the provost dogs. She makes friends with people on both sides of the law and gathers informants, known as birdies, to help her scent out her case. In the words of one of her training dogs, Matthias Tunstall, you grip the digger case and the snake case and wouldn't let them go. That is exactly what she does. So the book focuses mostly on Rebecca and her training dogs. I feel that they three are the only ones who actually change little by little throughout the book. Each character, minor and otherwise, have their own personalities and their own little quirks that are their own. Don't merge together with another characters it's them all the more real to me anyways terrier is written in diary format right there diary format well i never got the feeling of reading a diary because it's a lot more descriptive than i would think a diary would normally be and more dialogue heavy as well. It does give a reasonable explanation for why it's like that, and that is that as a dog, Rebecca requires a lot of her memory to send out her cases and figure out who the rat is that she's chasing, and she uses her diary as a means of helping her remember certain things. While I do recommend reading this book, I don't recommend reading it first in the series because it gives a good introduction of the city of Chorus in the eyes of the lower city who actually live in the city, whereas in the other books it focuses on more on the nobles who tend to stay in the home of their king for a better introduction to the world in itself, I recommend the Lioness Quartet, which I will review on another day. Otherwise, I do highly recommend this book for fans of Tamora Pierce or fans of science fiction and fantasy in general. Thank you guys so much for watching and be sure to come back for more if you like this one. Bye.